What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We are on the internet today. We got a we got mana drain up in this piece. We got a mox diamond. I'm trying to figure out. Casual Crusader said draft teamer. Um. That's got three. Oh, that's your storm. That one's easy. We can do that. Okay. Um. Hmm. 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 Yeah. So I guess we're gonna try the Casual Crusader Teamer draft. I like Teamer as an archetype. The thing is, like, I I don't want to. As you guys know, I like choosing the stip depending on what I open, because if we open like through the breach if i have a through the breach tip i'll do that as unforgivable now but if you don't open it you can't be like all right guys we're gonna do this through the breach stipulation and then like you literally never see those cards in the draft and you're like okay i guess we're done oh mana drain into sylvan library i mean if i'm gonna take a ponder or a sylvan library i'm gonna take a sylvan library that's a pretty easy pick there um i like remand i like regrowth the stipulation to be clear for those on youtube it, it just went up in the chat right here uh, it is from Casual Crusader MTG Draft Teamer. I don't need to be in the chat. I'll catch it on YouTube. <coughs> There's a third pick, Thousand Year Storm. Unfortunate for Kerwit. It's either Remand or Regrowth. I think we're gonna go with Remand. I think Remand is a cooler, a cooler dude. If we are playing Teamer, it's very possible we could Pestermite here. And I think the only thing we're really passing is like Biogenic Ooze Whisperwood. One of these might even come back. So we're definitely taking a third pick, Pesterino. I like Tireless Tracker. I like Muldrifter a little better than Tireless Tracker. So I actually have a big decision coming up soon. I have to choose whether to use the old frame Muldrifter that was just released in Time Spire Remastered or the extended art Muldrifter that was released in Commander Legends. I actually don't know which is better. I also don't know if Muldrifter or Tireless Tracker is better here. First answer extended, second answer old border. <laughs> there you go. You just the the entire problem has been summarized right there. Uh, I don't have any foils in my cube, and I don't plan to add any because they are inconsistently bad. I want to take tireless tracker. I think long term this guy is just going to be uh, a little bit better. I'll take huntmaster. The thing is, like, you don't want to play Muldrifter until it's turn five. You just don't. I mean, you can, but you don't want it. Whereas, <clears throat> ooh, Lotus Codus Lobra. I actually like the way this deck is looking a lot. This feels tempo-y. Another, two more for old border. You strike me as an old frame kind of guy. I'm an old frame kind of guy. Eternal Witness is great. Uh, I'm actually kind of glad we got this because... Getting back Mana Drain, Remand, Ancestral, Time Walk, if we hit any of those, is really sweet. And and we passed the regrowth, so... <clears throat> I also like Wall of Roots, but Wall of Roots is fairly replaceable. I'm getting quickly outvoted. Okay, let me actually do a poll. How about that? Okay, question... Old frame or borderless Muldrifter? I just put, I just wrote Muldrigger. Uh, TSR old border or <clears throat> CML extended border or borderless, I guess. I actually don't know if it's borderless or extended border. I think it's I think it's extended border. I went over this on Twitter the other day. I went over like the difference between extended border and borderless. There is a difference, and it's so minor that I don't actually even understand it. Shatter Skull Smashing is actually a pretty sweet card to just have for free in our deck arena. I also wonder if Burgeon 5 is good. I'm gonna take the the smashing here. Okay, okay. Nothing, nothing, nothing great here. We'll leave it up for three minutes. <clears throat> Borderless has the bottom border and the top board. Um, wait. 
Hold on, we'll talk about this in a second. Oh, a thousand years. Regrowth came back anyway? I'll take a second regrowth. Hey, Whisperwood's actually playable. Sure, that's fine. Okay, hold on. Um, borderless. I showed this on Twitter the other day. Let me see if I can just make those. I'll take a Mystical Tutor, sure. Why not? That can get a Mana Drain, a Remand, a Regrowth. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys the difference here. And I'm probably going to surprise some of you because you're like, oh, I didn't know there was a difference. Hold on. Okay. This... Let's wait till the end of this pack. I actually like Avalanche Rider more than Fauna Shaman. Oh, Magda? All right. Well, whatever. Oh, Time Twister. The wrong time. The wrong blue power, unfortunately. Also, no lands whatsoever that can that can help us. I'm going to take Karn because I feel like this is the kind of deck that wants big things. There's no combo pieces. Gilded Goose and Finhorn Elves are fine, but, I mean, Karn is just a... So we're going to reserve the Karn. Okay, so this is Borderless. Okay, there's no border whatsoever. The art goes down to the bottom, and it also goes up to the top. Total borderless. This is extended art. You can see on the sides here, there is still a border. The bottom still has this black border. And the top actually still has a border. So the only thing that's happened is you've taken away the sides. So the art is literally extended. Where again, if you compare it over here, there is none of those black borders or white borders on the sides. There's nothing on the top. So borderless, extended art. Borderless, extended art. Those are the differences. Ooh, treachery. And I bet Fraley's or Euro come back. Or windswept teeth. I'll take a windswept teeth too. But we're definitely taking treachery here. That is a solid gentleman. Why would both even need to exist is the exact question I asked. I'm like, the differences between these two different styles is so subtle. I actually had to explain to people in the tweet, like, that these aren't the same and there is a difference. And even after posting the pictures, someone didn't even, they were like, oh my God, I didn't even notice that. And it's totally understandable because like, why would you? I'm going to show you guys the mole drifters too, so we can compare and then you guys can tell me which is better. I'm pretty sure we're just taking Taiga here. As much as I want Kiki Jiki for best of mind, I think our mana is significantly more important, especially when our mana requires us to have... Oh, Grim Monolith seems great. <clears throat> I love Inferno Titan, but we're going to take a Grimmy Boy. It also, we also just picked up a car, and it lets us play our three drops. I like a Woodfall Primus. Okay, are you guys ready for this? <clears throat> okay, so the, the Muldrifter is not borderless, it is extended art. Yeah, we'll just take Woodfall Primus here. Brett, I agree with you. Yeah, I, I actually chose, when I, I regretted choosing Doomscar because, um, oh yeah, these, these secret layers look, look banging. I could, I could take Ugin here. Actually, Arborolf might be good. We could just take Ugin and we have Karn, Ugin, and Woodfall, and maybe we're just trying to Eureka here. Like, if we hit a Eureka, I might just play it. All right. Progenitus? Sure. Like, I'm not going to take Tezzeret or P and Kieran Alar, so we're just going to take Progenitus and maybe we'll Natural Order as well. Who knows? Who knows what's happening? So here, <clears throat> here are the options for Mr. McMulldrifter. Old Border. Extended art. <clears throat> Old border. Extended art. Old border. Extended art. Old border, a thousand percent. Interesting. <clears throat> I'll be honest, I do personally love the extended arts and I think they really pop. Like some reason there's just so much art taken up that I just think they just really come off the off the frame, which is fan I, I just personally love. I'm gonna take Warren Clex here. I do like both of them too, actually. 
Oh, good. Fintorn Elves came back. That's actually kind of good for us. Survival of the Fittest is not terrible. Especially because we can, like, pitch something to, to get something else. Ulamog. Kiki Jiki came back? Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, we're just taking Kiki here. I mean, I'd love to have Ulamog in case we do get... Oh, Turn Timber Symbiosis is actually great with Woodfall. Old looks cheap. <laughs> you cheap-ass mole drifter. Eh, we'll take Runaway Steamkin. I mean, this deck's looking all right so far. We do have a combo. We have a Kiki and Pestermite. I would like some more good lands. We only got Taiga so far, but I don't think we've passed any on-color um, on good fixing. <clears throat> Runaway train never coming back. Yeah, I, the only reason I wouldn't play the F and M foil is because I just don't play foils in my cube. Because like I would have only so many. Yes. So now that we have Eternal Witness and Regrowth, and we're taking this Ancestral Bro, give it to me. Give it to me. I'm in. I'm gonna take Lumbering Falls here. We have no other <clears throat> no other fixing here. If Glorybringer or Braid comes back, I'll be pretty pretty thrilled about that. Are we an upheaval deck? I don't think so. We just have Grim Monolith. I do like Ancient Grudge. I would take Tree Speaker, but like, it doesn't help our double blue. It doesn't help our triple red. I don't think we're a Tree Speaker deck either. Like, and what I mean by a Tree Speaker deck is a is a deck that literally has significant amounts of green. Because we're gonna, we're a deck that wants to cast Mana Drain. We're a deck that wants to cast Remand Treachery. I, I actually think it's Ancient Grudge here. We also don't have any other artifact removal right now, and I, I do like to have artifact removal. And I'll I'll play to the main deck. <clears throat> See, also we're passing Rafellas too, because we're not a we're not a mono green deck, and I think the 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 um what's the word I'm looking for? Like the strategy for a mono green deck is completely different from the strategy of a different deck, like like this, for example. And we're definitely taking consecrated sphinx because we're not animals. Cultivate actually seems pretty decent here. We actually could use some decent fixing. Um, and the only thing we're passing is like Sower, and we have a bunch of expensive stuff, so yeah, I'll, I'll cultivate. <sighs> this pack's pretty poop. We also have Mystical Tutor to go get Ancestral. <laughs> That's not bad. That's not bad. <clears throat> anyway, the thing I was saying... <laughs> oh, that clip is going to be fantastic, I'm sure. The thing I was saying about um foils is that i'd use so few of them or that you know there'd be so few in my cube that like i don't want to have like it's interesting because those old fnm foils curve instead of curving inward they kind of curve long ways like let me see if i can get a card and show you <clears throat> like a lot of cards curve like this <clears throat> the old fnm foils kind of curve like this from top to bottom and like if you have a deck and you have like one foil that's like this it's gonna be it's just gonna stand out so I'd rather just have no foils. I think I'm just going to take Garrick Relentless here. I could also see an argument for um, Worm Coil, but I, I don't think we need more creatures that are, like, fat. That being said, I will take Gargaroth because I think it replaces... Maybe Whisperwood? <laughs> the two colors we are not. Our man is pretty rough here. Oh, a braid came back. Also, Glorybringer came back. I really like Glorybringer. I actually, I'd be tempted to cut Pestermite and Kiki Jiki to play Glorybringer and just like kind of eschew the fact that we have this this kind of clumsy combo. And we also got Tree Speaker back. So, oh, actually, Questing Beast and Flame Tongue are both very good. <clears throat> I think we're taking Questing Beast here. Body shaming creature. 
<laughs> I didn't mean to. Hey, man. I'm a chubby guy. I wouldn't body shame a creature. <clears throat> what did someone say? About the red is part of the stip. Oh, I don't think the red is good. Yeah, we have a we have a stip going. And we, we have to play the red because of the stipulation. So quit yucking our yum, buddy. Gotti. I mean, Magda's kind of meh. But it does, like, producing clues is actually fine. It ramps us to four. Sometimes you're just going to get in there. Like, I mean, I can also see cutting one of our eight drops. Do we have any really exploit a, like, we don't, we don't really, right? Like, well, we have Cultivate, Lotus Cobra, <clears throat> Grimonolith, Draga Tree Speaker. I don't know. Could be fine. We also have an Ancestral and, like, Eternal Witness and Regrowth if we wanted Regrowth. Hmm. <laughs> Nuck if you buck. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, uh, I, I, I could, I could see cutting Vorinclex actually. I do like. I think both of these are are good though. The weird thing about Vorinclex is that like, <clears throat> it doesn't let you choose right. So there's certain things where you want a counter to go on. Wait, hold on. Yeah, so you put two negative counters on Vorinclex, right? Or on uh, on Woodfall, because so you're like, oh, that sucks. But also, like, Vorinclex is real good with these two. Maybe we do play Vorinclex and we don't play Primus. Because if we go turn six, maybe not turn four Vorinclex or something, and then follow it up with either of these, <clears throat> that seems pretty decent. All right, we're going to play these two lands. Also, triple red seems pretty ambitious, so I'm not, like, super torn up about that are we a huh i was actually i was actually curious if we were a birthing pod deck i really don't think we are but it, i definitely considered it for a moment also i do like having double colorless creatures for mana drain which is basically just green channel or blue channel rather three four hmm. probably go up to five here <clears throat> four five Eight, nine, ten, six, seven, nine, ten, sixteen, eighteen. Six, seven, four, five, six, seven, eight. Plus we have Shatter Skull and Turn Timber Symbiosis. Well you can't cast anything as a land. That's not how that's not how casting works, nerd. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I could play it as a land for sure. It's definitely an option. Oh, oh, are you asking if I'm going to play it in the deck? Yes, yes. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna square up what I have here. Six. I need to cut one, one land. I think it actually might be a, a forest. Because we don't, we want to have mana drain. I think, eh, it seems fine. S seven green sources. Seven blue sources and five red sources. Actually, we're going to cut one red. Because <clears throat> we also have Lotus Cobra and we have Cultivate. Should help the red. And we're going to cut one green, one red. And put Shatter Skull, Turn Timber in. I think this is fine. All right. Okay, let's fire it up. I don't know if this deck's going to do anything. I wish we had two fetch lands. And a tropical island. <clears throat> and a volcanic island. Maybe that's asking a lot. In fact, I'm sure it is. But what are you going to do? Had to get back to the VIP dressing room for the only pros. Yeah. I know. <clears throat> you can get caught between the moon and New York City. No mutuals allowed is right.
I wonder if this match is going to fire ever. All right, let's do it. I have no idea what's going to happen. Anything could happen. They got Mana Drain, Ancestral, Treachery, Consecrated Sphinx. We got powerful things. Ancient Grudge is nice. He looks like an older George Clooney. Don't we all? Don't we all? Oh, good. This match didn't work. Well, that's nice. We're having a good time. Everybody having a good time. <clears throat> My matchmaking failed. You can't just say I'm going to put you down to a dog, man. Oh, dear. <laughs> well, that's worse than what I was meaning. By such a large margin. Boom, 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 boom. Well, this one didn't take that long, so that's good. All right, let's see it. We love to see it. Actually, I do love to see this. Oh, wow. <clears throat> turn one tree speaker into turn two Sylvan. And then we can Garrick and Ancestral on the next turn. Oh. I mean, none of this is going to go according to plan, I'm sure, but... It's nice to look at the possibilities and be like, you know what? This is what we could do. And alive. Hmm. Play something stupid. <clears throat> Ugh, dang it. I mean, we knew it was too good to be true. I told you they were going to mess with us. I mean, we're just going to play Tireless Tracker. They have four cards. They took Garrick because Garrick can actually kill the Kite Sail Freebooter. Um, <laughs> well... <clears throat> Well, 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 well. <laughs> I switch, put this on top. I, I mean, the reason we're not keeping anything extra is because we have Ancestral plus um, Tireless Tracker plus Eternal Witness to get back Ancestral. So, like, we're actually in a position where, like, I don't really need to go out of my way to get more cards. Especially when we don't know what our opponent's playing. Of course, if they mind twist us, eh, it's going to be a little sad. Hold on one second. I'm just responding to some things.
Okay, so they just played Smugly Choppy. We meet again for the first time. How is the redless draft going? Hey, buddy. We got red in here. Don't you worry about that. Um, we could actually go land Eternal Witness Ancestral. Let's put you on top. Put these both on top. I am actually going to get in there. If they want to trade with Smuggler's Copter here, that's fine. Oh. Um, for some reason, that's interesting to me. Just wanted to see what the dogs were doing there. We're just going to get in there. I, I don't see myself activating clues at any point in the next couple turns. So, I mean, I'll accumulate them. But if we can just get the smuggler's copter off the board. Doctor, doctor, give me the news. I'm going to. KCD. Guys, I don't know if you're familiar with how much value getting back Ancestral Recall is, but it's a good amount. Oh, interesting. Okay, you get a Findhorn Elves? Sure. Interesting, interesting. Oof, like that. Like it a lot. Um, I mean, we're not winning this race, right? So if we deal two, they deal three. We can manage in anything though. Like we just play Karn next turn. Exile the freebooter. Get our Gary back. I mean, right now we can play Ancestral and crack a clue to draw four. Which fills our hand. It's pretty good. Yeah. And game two. It's got to be a game two situation, right? Because they saw the Karn in hand, I'm pretty sure. You got it. I don't remember playing Blaze in Winter. I feel like I would remember that. Okay, so we're actually blocking here. Get our elf back. Clue cracking. And it feels so good. Two new cards we get to see. We also get three, so we have one, two, three, four, five, eight. We have nine mana. Okay. Well, I'm not going to...
They have one card in hand. Hmm. I think we're going to exile this. I assume they got like some sort of removal spell, like a Hero's Downfall, Murderous Rider. So I want to get the value now. If we just get rid of the card in their hand, it probably doesn't do much. Oh, we're going to play the Elf too. That's what we're doing. Let's play it off of this so we can still Ancestor Recall and draw. Yep, that's what I figured they'd get. So that's okay. I mean, we got rid of it's. It was like a, it was almost a three for one. I guess I don't know how Imperial Seal is going to work into that equation, but and they have no cards in hand. We have okay. <laughs> well, can we do that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we can do that. We're just going to do that. Oh my god. This is, we have it all. Put on top, put on top. Play a land and then play this guy. And game two. All right, we did it. God, apparently if you cast Ancestral Recall twice in the same round, same game. You're like the dude who canceled all the lemons. Yeah, I mean, I just, I didn't know what to do with all my lemons. Okay, well, if we had one more land, I'd be on board. Oh. <laughs> uh. It seems you have a much better deck today, and mine not so much. Well, <laughs> okay, you know what? I'll keep the... Uh... Oh, this is a green source, actually, so sure, buddy. Dang. I think we're just getting rid of one island because I like Huntmaster, I like Garrick, and I like Eternal Witness to get back Ancestral because I'm a maniac, so. Mm. Wow, you literally do spot a, jaw a Jawbreaker... Joy Division homage t-shirt. That is... Good eye, buddy. Good eye. Good eye. And I'm not I'm not doing my Australian accent there either. Good eye, mate. Um, okay, unfortunately... If we Ancestral, we go to 5. And then we go to 8. Then we go to 9. Oh, this little... This little turtle? knocking on wood to the ancestors and whiff on lands <laughs> buddy you ain't kidding okay play no and now we're gonna we're gonna ancestral but we're also going to uh try to cultivate here hey babe Katie just got home. Yeah, they always go for, they always go deep on these rats. Deep on the rats. That's what I always say. I've never said that before.
I'm totally blanking on who the lead, who Julian Baker is the lead, the lead singer of. Let's get a red and another, probably another green here. Or maybe two red. Actually, two red puts us in really good shape for everything, I think. I think we have to get rid of something, though. And we obviously do. Julian Baker is not a lead singer for something. She is actually the one who does all the piano covers. Um, yeah, that make people cry. That is where I know Julian Baker from. That is correct. I think we just pitch Karn here. Yeah, that seems fine. We got a good hand. Yeah, she sang accident prone on piano. And boy, it's a fucking tearjerker, man. Good gravy. I think they're just gonna go all in on rats. This is actually not bad for us. They attack with two rats. We steal the untapped rat. We untap, we play Garrick, and we kill one of the other rats, which makes Garrick a 2-2. And that's two rats down. And that's actually one of my favorite bands, Two Rats Down. You guys ever heard of Two Rats Down? I'm out. Fine, go then, Kyers. We didn't even need you here. No, I'm just kidding. I hope you I hope you have a good night, weekend, Thursday. Hmm. What's better, having the real one in the graveyard or killing the token? I think killing the token. Because we don't have any bounce spells. Honey, miss or a close call. I keep a room at the hospital. Scratch my accident into the wall. You're just 5,000 candles in the wind. I mean, if we hit a green, we can go Sylvan Library and Questing Beast. If we don't, we can go Sylvan Library Hunt Master, both of which are pretty good on board. Well, that was unfortunate and kind of rude, to be honest. Scratch my accident into the wall. Now I have the song stuck in my head. Oh, God. Oh, dear. How much mana do we need to keep up to Karn and Eternal Witness? We need 10. So if we counter a four drop, we're actually in really good shape. So we can actually play Huntmaster or Questing Beast here. I think Questing Beast is harder on the mana and puts more pressure on. Or, yeah, it's harder on the mana because we only have two... two Green. <laughs> I know, so I some can't help myself sometimes. We're having a good time. I'm like, yeah, I mean, I get that. Are we trading rat for rat? Also, if the rat dies, we could also eternal witness treachery.
Oh, dear. Oh, we did it. So now we get to Eternal Witness and play Karn. Oh, that's real good. Honey, I miss or a close call. I keep a room at the house, man. I feel legitimately bad, in fact. Well, I said fell, because I don't know how to type, even though I've been doing it for a thousand years. One thousand years! Well, you know what's going to happen now, boys. We're going to go to the Carnarium. <laughs> Give me this fat beauty. Fat beauty. Let me get that last card from your hand. Put you in the in top deck city. Oh, Hell Rider? Uh huh, I bet. How dare you? How dare you doubt? Well, that's rude. Those are good cards, man. Did you fall? What happened? Do, am I not okay? What's going on? I feel fine. I feel okay. Good game. It's so funny, Blaze and Winter. Apparently, we did play Blaze and Winter yesterday. Okay, we're 1 0, man. 1 0. I'm living the dream. Honey, I miss or a close call. I keep a room at the hospital. Scratch my accident. To breathe your breath. You always left me satisfied and smiling. That's what she said. Oh, God, this hand. Oh, my God, this hand. It's beautiful. It's just gorgeous. Gorgeous. I still think we're leading. We don't have a second blue, so we're just going to lead on Tree Speaker, try to go Island Sylvan Library. Then we can cultivate, get all the beautiful things we need. All right. I can see rudeness is your is your default mode here. I understand. Still, we got five mana. Hitting a blue source here is very, very good. Yeah, that's fine. Well, it's not the blue source we were looking for, unfortunately. I am going to keep this, actually. Well, that is unfortunate. Because I assume they're going to kill our tree speaker. Yep. Well, it's all it's all happening now. Well, I got three cards. Maybe it's not. Here comes a deck. Oh, all right. Double signet? Sure. Ancestral vision? You got it. All these things are fine, actually. I'm not super worried.
Oh, there's your boy. Uh, put on top. Put on top. I have no reason to play Shatter Skull yet. Whatever this is, it's going to feel amazing. Never mind. Still feels good. Wow, they have no cards in hand. Okie dokie. That seems good. I'm almost tempted to treachery this construct. I oh, know that doesn't do it, actually. Duretti can still sacrifice stupid signets and things. Hmm. So, what do we have? We have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana to work with, five of which could be free, but we're, that doesn't matter, actually. I think we just go Sphinx Eternal Witness. It guarantees us two cards, and we can get back, like, we can actually get back Mana Drain here. Or we can just... Hmm... It's actually a tough turn. I think, I mean, Sphinx just dies. We could also just play Magda. I got lost in a hot tub stream. What are you even saying? What are these hot tub streams? Okay, Ophelo, Paul, I'm like this. <laughs> oh, God. Wow, I can't even. That's amazing. I actually have a folder with all the memes that people send like this, and this is going right in there. We want to hit a land, so we're gonna we're gonna keep the forest, and we also want to play one of these two. I mean, the Doretti is pretty obnoxious here. I think we're just gonna play the Magda. Let's put you on top. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Actually, I don't need to. Yeah, all right. We just got 12 here. The reason I didn't, I didn't eternal witness was because I don't know if I want to get back mana drain or. Um, the other one. Oh, that's actually really good. Shatter Skull does hit walkers. We don't have double red, though, so... We can get it with Magda next turn. Or did they just top-deck something really good? Yes, they did. Yes, they did. Seems good. <laughs> I guess we can treachery that guy we don't have a way to activate it but that's okay actually we know they have no cards i assume they're gonna kill sphinx here because jesus you can't let that thing live sure Got to you, there was nothing left. <sighs> Actually, so if we attack with Magda...
Okay. Uh, okay. Um, we're trying to figure out what the play is here. I mean, we're definitely going to play. So, one, two, three, four, five. Treachery, this stupid banana head. So we got one, two, three, four, five. And now we can smash here, smash here, attack for two. What are we smashing for? One, two, three. So we got four, so two and two, and then attack it. That seems good. One, two... Okay. And now we still have Eternal Witness to get back Consecrated Sphinx, Mana Drain, or Ancestral, which is really strong. Oh, and this gives us black, which is extremely relevant when we have a Scarab God. Oh boy, that's really good. So next turn we can make a second black with Magda and reanimate two things. Damn, that's pretty ballin'. Just kidding. I guess we still we have we have treachery again. One we also have Ugin now. Okay. <laughs> um Yeah, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. We're not gonna play Ugin here. We're just gonna eternal witness. Probably get I feel like Oh god, chaos there, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, this is also accurate. That's that's what I look like actually. That's uh yeah, that's legit. Oh dear. Okay. Um just trying to figure out what we're doing here. I think we're putting Cobra back on top. I just don't care about Cobra. Like, they get to draw three, but, like, we're killing a lot of their mana sources here. One, two, three. And then we can also play... I think we're keeping Treachery. So, we have a lot of options. We can actually play a land Eternal Witness for Mana Drain... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then next turn, if we hit any other land, we just get to, uh, I mean, it's pretty good against Scarab God, right? So. Oh, actually, what if we just negative five the stupid Scarab God? And we're definitely playing this, right? Let's get back Mana Drain, I think. Like, we have Sylvan Library, which is giving us a lot of value anyway, so. Having a Scarab God of our own is cool, but I don't want to, like, deal with it. Like, whatever. So, you know, they have Scarab God for random cards. Um, I wonder if they knew I had that like because I I wonder if they forgot about the treasures there actually put on top pay to keep I guess
I just don't feel like they have a great answer for Ugin. Like they have to have like um, Hero's Downfall or something, which they've they've used blood. Okay, cool. <laughs> I guess they don't have that at all. At all. Um, Ancient Grudge did some sweet work. I think Avalanche Rider might be decent here. Like they got a good amount of different colors and flavors. Magda's been doing some work, man. I mean, if you can get in for one or two hits and just get an extra mana or two, like it's really not that bad. Sometimes I just bring cards in without taking things out because Do I have any pictures of Moochel I could link in the chat? Not really. Outside of his Facebook, I really don't keep many pictures of him on my anything, really. Because that's weird. Oh, that's weird. Um, I could play either of these, but the point is, like, the, the fact is if we draw, like, land, 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 we don't need to. So I'm always reluctant to rush out spells that are also lands if I don't need to do that. Can I get an Ancient Grudge? No, you can get a blue mana, though. I was like, okay. I understand. I mean, I would have I liked a, a Land of War Elf. I would have liked a Grim Monolith. Um... What's the other one that worked? Lotus Cobra. Okay. Okay. Well, Avalanche Rider should be okay here in like four turns. Actually, if we... Nope, that's not going to work. Dang it. Got excited. Okay, another blue source. Seems good -o. Yeah, this is an aggressive start for them, and we have literally nothing to play before turn four. So that's rough. <laughs> well, that's a thing, all right. I see what you're trying to do here, and I don't like it. Avalanche ride your whip. Doretti spaghetti. How much? I love this. If we could draw like a mountain, that'd be actually kind of cool because then we can Shatter Skull Smash on the following turn, which is nice. That's actually good. Not going to do anything here, buddy. Okay, we didn't draw the black we needed. Bazorples, my dude. Uh, attack to ready and exert. You got it. You gonna do it again? Yep. Okie dokie. Well, the ready still doesn't get to reanimate an Inkwell Leviathan. Isn't that the most important part? Elder Gargaroth could be very good here. Well, less so now. No, actually still fine. Hmm, <laughs> hmm, 
Well, we do have to... No, actually... We're probably dead here. Because they can just go back to their turn. Kill one of the wolves and tap down the Huntmaster or vice versa. And... Uh, it's, that actually might keep us alive. It's like black... This keeps us alive because it just gives us multiple creatures to block with. I mean, they could also have just yep. That yep. See, that's the that's the ticket. Yeah, we just have to. We're just dead here. I mean, we just have to draw more more spells than than zero. I mean, we have 13 cards we can play before turn three. And we hit none of them. So, not ideal. Is that all? Just draw more spells? Why didn't you think of that before? It was, I, it's a slow, it's a slow process. It's a strategy that's coming to me, uh, over time. Yes. Yes to this. Duretti's very good, yes. I mean, just being able to kill any creature or artifact is so strong. Oh no, not my cobra. <sighs> Love it. I mean, it feels like it's less likely you're gonna have an answer to this guy now, but I mean, we, this is like the only removal soul we saw in their entire deck so far. I'm sure they have something else, but. <laughs> Okie dokie. Oh boy. We have a good time. Eternal Witness. Questing Beast is good. Okay, you got it, champ. If one or more counters on a permanent, if one or more counters, if you would put one or more counters, okay. Oh, wow, they're just the old charter course to loot. Well, I guess it's not looting. You're, you're netting a card, but it's 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 a two for two, basically. Inkwell Leviathan again, huh? Let's reanimate. Dak Faden? Okay, you're not stealing anything. And we just get to kill Dak Faden? Oh, dear. 
Oh dear. I mean, we also play Vorinclex, so we have 10 power on board. Yeah, that's pretty good. Attack you with all creatures. Put them in the trash can. Put them in the can. I mean, one more turn, we do get to keep up remand, but I'm not going to resist putting them to five. Sure. It's totally fine. <laughs> Actually, sacking your tokens does nothing. I guess you get to draw cards, but that's... Oh. And this guy just can't be blocked, so you actually have to put... How many guys in front? One, two, three, four. Attack with this guy. One, two, three. F so it's got to be four, five, six, and then when you put one in front of... Eh, it's not worth it, I guess. I mean, we're definitely killing these front two. That's very easy to. Okie dokie. Well, they have two cards and we have one castable counter spell. I do not care about that at all. <laughs> okay. 2-0, guys. 2-0 with Casual Crusaders teamer deck. Loving it. This deck has felt pretty good. Uh, I mean, I don't want to get I don't want to get ahead of myself, but I feel like we have a good amount of threats, good amount of responses, good amount of card draw. Turn to Sylvan Library should help out here. Our opponent kept on seven, which is never good for us. We're gonna top deck a Draga Tree Speaker. We did not. It's unfortunate. On the wings of love, only bitty dudes. They're gonna play Lotus Cobra, then they're gonna play a land. Yep, this is all happening.
Man, if I can get a pyroclasm, that'd be just beautiful. I guess Ugin's also very, very good. Oh boy, that's what you want to see. Yep. Pass it up. Oh god. If we can just mana drain something for four. And then negative to the world. I'm sure you answered this, but I always had to ask, what's the best Jawbreaker album and why is it 24? I'm actually a huge fan. Yeah, the 24 Hour Revenge Therapy is easily the best Jawbreaker album. I'm actually a fan of Dear You as well. I know Dear You was uh, slightly panned by uh, hardcore fans accusing Jawbreaker of selling out, but I'm, I'm still a Dear You fan. But yes, it is 24 Hour, 100%. Yep. Oh, it's happening. Oh, it's happening. Oh, this game just ended. Oh. <laughs> yeah, 24 Hour, I probably listened to more than any other album in my life. In my life. Um, let's keep Lumbering Falls and put that dude in play tapped. Put on top. Put on top. Get my five. I got five on it. Let's play. Actually. No, we can't treachery. Um, we could treachery their tree speaker and kill like one of these. No, we're just negative. I mean, I hate to lose my library, but this is going to be so backbreaking that... God, don't have like days off of Sylvan Carry added. Oh, we just win the game. We didn't even have to make any decisions. Okay, well, we don't have anything great against like mono green nerds, unfortunately. Like, I could see bringing, bringing Banefire is just like a kill a 1 1 on turn two. Might be better than Ancient Grudge, actually. Yeah, it's probably the best we're going to get. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we're doing it. We do need some blue mana, but you know what? This is pretty good. Plus, the odds of them killing Jiraga Tree Speaker seems pretty low. Okay, now we definitely need <laughs> some blue sources. Okay. Blue. Eh, Huntmaster's not the worst. Unfortunately, we cannot do anything with our with our mana here, so. Oh, they didn't sack their tribe elder. Surprised. Fascinating. Okay, well. I mean, it's interesting because they chose to sack it on their turn as if, like, it's, you know, going to get that Lotus Cobra bump. But Lotus Cobra has one mana from the land coming into play, which is the same amount of mana you would have gotten if you just had the land in play. So, that's the thing. One, two, three, four. Um, We're actually going to play Tracker here. Play land, get a clue, and then we'll keep remand up. And then ideally, we can draw a blue source of the next two next turn and uh, be able to 
deal with whatever nonsense they play for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like eight mana. Uh, yep. They only have three cards. If it's a creature, we could ideally treachery it. Maybe they just got three lands in hand, too. That'd be cool. Oh. Oh, this bodes well for us. Oh, man, I'm so... This is, this is too good to be true. Okie dokie. Oh, boy. That is... Oh, does this bode well for us? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Okay. That's a good card. There's our second island. Okay. So we're basically a lock. This is a May ability. If you control center, XL. No, it's not. So, like, you actually have to... So we just get to play Huntmaster here, keep up Mana Drain, and if they don't do anything, we just get to recall. You have killed them. They just don't know it yet. <laughs> that is our hope, Monsonster. That is our hope. Guys, are we 3 0 with this teamer stipulation? Boy, it sure feels like it. Frank's drawing lands that he needs. Yeah, I don't know what to. I don't know what to tell. You. It's almost like when I do draw the lands that I need, I have a higher win percentage, and when I don't, I lose more matches. I don't know. Call me crazy. Do I care about this at all? No. No, I do not. It is not a threat to us. <laughs> okay. 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 So we know, I don't, this is, I don't know what that, I don't know what that is. That's the Nissa forest. Okay. I'm about to show a thing that Chris, nifty Chris just sent me this. Oh, God. <laughs> Golden. Absolute solid gold. Beautiful gold. I mean, it's almost better value to crack this clue instead of, uh, yeah, don't care about that. None of these things are concerns to me. Yeah, it's actually better to crack the clue here. It's just better mana usage. Alexa, what's the temperature? Keep leveling. Oof. Oof. So we can actually go Lumbering Falls, Magda. I don't want to, I don't want to flip this myself and it means not playing like seventh land. I think it's actually better to flip this than to play Magda. Let me just get to kill this. Yeah, that's, let's do that. I mean, we got, look at our hand. There's no way they come back from this. Like, Fly me to the moon. Don't flip that Nissa into a planeswalker. In other words. Oh, yeah. I mean, I wish we had an untapped blue, so then we have double counterspell just in case. I don't know if there's any green spells that are like, can't be countered. Like, I don't think the run is in the queue anymore. Uh, I don't care about Dryad either. Okay. 
So I'm going to assume both of these are gone. Sure. Alexa, why is my lasagna not ready for another 30 minutes? WTF. She doesn't know that one, Christopher. Eventually, this track, this tracker is just going to get too big for, for his britches. You know what I mean? I'm gonna get in there. No, that guy can stay. at the beginning of the next upkeep right okay good so i don't want to like i don't want to like have this like block with a two four have him flip and be like oh no he did so we're gonna go ancestral we get one two yeah this is fine i want to flip though okay And we don't even have to discard? Boy, the rich get richer, am I right? Did he just say funky butt loving? What's that from? I feel like we're done here. Wow, you just quoted Rookie of the Year. <laughs> Holy shit, what a throwback. This movie's 400 years old. If this is like Crater F, we're just going to remand it. Is it eight colorless? Ten mana? Oh. Do I want to remand that? Probably not. I think I'm just going to steal it. <laughs> you got it. Big Nick. I mean, there are five. We just alpha and they're they're dead. Okay. Well, thank you guys for watching this magnanimous trophy victory really appreciate it you guys are amazing be sure to go to compare.com use the link below you can check out how to get the best price on your insurance uh even if you think you have the best price already it's a great way to compare for free no cost it takes about five seconds i was gonna say five minutes but it's really like a minute and a half it's really short also go to twitch.tv slash frank Lepore and be sure to subscribe if you can it's a great way to support the channel you can also go to patreon.com slash frank Lepore, and it's a great way for like a dollar or two dollars a month if you just want to support that way Either way, please consider supporting the channel and the content because it's one of the main ways I survive and I get to eat food. And casual Crusader MTG, thank you guys. Nah, thank you so much for the stipulation and the support. Really appreciate it. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.